So welcome again to another interview at the Scholarly Studio. Uh, today we have Slajana Matic, Maya Mandic and Bojana Kiric, three ladies working in the Planet Systems Group product management team. You do a lot of interesting things, but today we're going to talk just about one. So yeah. <laughs> it's about awards and grants, the application that you've developed. So just to you know get started, what is this application? Uh, so Awards and Grants is a customizable submission and evaluation manager. Its aim is to help uh, funding organizations with their um, um, submission and evaluation processes to help them uh, pick the best candidates who will make the most um, positive change in the world. So, so when you say organizations, who do you have in mind? I mean, who are people who can benefit most from this application? So uh, we primarily built this for uh, scholarly organizations um, and their aim is usually to improve a certain area of science, to uh, support research and innovation, to nurture talents, uh, to help education in that area and generally just to promote uh, social good but it can also be uh, used by other organizations. Uh, so, for example, if you have a trading organization mm -hmm. who wants to recognize the most popular product that year in their area, so they can use mm -hmm. awards and grants as well. Or a philanthropic society who just wants to recognize its most active members. Mm -hmm. So, definitely, it can be used by other organizations, right. not just uh, scholarly societies. Brilliant. And tell me, when somebody... Uh, uses this application, um, what kind of support can they expect from Planet Systems Group? I mean, when they come across some problems or they need it to be customized or anything? Yes, of course. Uh, so we don't uh, just uh, give them the application mm -hmm. and uh, let them work it out by themselves. We first provide onboarding to administrators, uh, so we help them to learn the system, we help them understand how features work. Uh, also, uh, organizations get a dedicated PhD uh, program specialist mm. who in the beginning will help them set the first um, programs, first program cycles, and um, they also get a, an extensive knowledge base uh, where there are video tutorials, articles they can read and uh, learn about the system that way. And also um, applicants and reviewers, I mean the other participants uh, in uh, this uh, process, they can also use this knowledge base and if they get stuck they can also send an email to our customer service. Mm, that sounds really good. I mean, actually more than good. And um, just tell me also, what are the key benefits of this application? So first of all, um, we support application processing. So the collection of applications, they're tracking the monitoring uh, of their workflow that is all covered in this application. Then a review and selection process. So reviewer get the access to all the documents and uh, they have a place to give their feedback to uh, score these applications. Also, um, there is a cent uh, this application provides a centralized place uh, for document management, so everything is in one place, mm -hmm. easily accessible by who needs to access it. Uh, it also helps uh, facilitate communication between participants in this process and um, certain tools like uh, reporting tools, they help data analysis, so or uh, organizers can um, analyze this data and uh, make informed decisions about future strategies mm -hmm. and things uh, and so on. So overall, um, the application helps the, the transparency, the efficacy, efficacy, the better organization of the management of mm -hmm. uh, applications through mm -hmm. uh, the process. Right. Okay. All right. I, I get the idea. <laughs> can we can we now dive into more specific <laughs> details of the application? Um, when you mentioned customizable options, what, what are they? I mean, what customizable options the application actually provides? We understand that not organizations are the same, that they have different requirements, different needs. So we give them the tools to um, tailor the programs to their needs. So uh, most uh, notable feature uh, 
in that, co in that context is the form builder. So administrators can use the form builder to create a submission form that uh, is um, that uh, is tailored to their requirements, to their programs. So they collect the information that they need, that is relevant mm -hmm. to them. And the same thing with a reviewer scorecard. They can create a reviewer scorecard and um, guide the reviewer uh, about what they need to um, give the feedback, to evaluate mm -hmm. the application. Also, there is a notification builder, which is also very useful because it uh, gives the administrator ability to personalize the emails that go out. So um, no matter um, what they send, uh, it will be personalized to the recipient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I mean, Buena, can you walk us through the life cycle of um, a certain grant program or fellowship program and how this application actually fits in with all that? Of course. Uh, first, admin needs to prepare a cycle where applicants will send their application, submit their applications. Mm -hmm. After that, admin will perform a sort of a triage when they, uh, they decline all the unsuitable applications and uh, the ones that are left, that are good, are sent to the reviewers for evaluation. Mm -hmm. And the panel will then review those applications and again send feedback to the admin. Admin reviews that feedback and top applicants are chosen and the winners are notified. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. And of course, a second and the third round of review also can be performed. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about review and evaluation, I mean, how do you cater for like large volumes? Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? Okay, so uh, our uh, application uh, can efficiently manage uh, large volumes of applications. Uh, we have a feature called bulk action feature, mm -hmm. uh, which we can use to uh, manage uh, more uh, notification, uh, more notifications sent to appli applicants at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we want to, for example, uh, decline multiple uh, applications at once, uh, we can do it with a few clicks. Uh, also, uh, we ensure uh, fairness and um, consistency throughout the collection and review process, uh, collection of submissions and review process. Uh, for example, if um, an application uh, shows potential for another uh, award or grant cycle, it's easy to transfer it to this uh, better suited cycle. Uh, we do it with just a uh, click. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it's, uh, we, in that way we ensure um, all those um, Strong applications are not uh, prematurely declined, but uh, they um, get another opportunity for consideration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what happens like somebody gets the application and uses it, but then their rules and requirements change? Then what? Do they have to install a new application? What happens? No, no, no. Uh, so one of the advantages of using awards and grants is precisely its ability to adapt quickly. So, as I mentioned before, submission forms are uh, easy to use and uh, you can quickly customize them uh, to suit your needs. Uh, needs. So, you can, um, if uh, something changes, you can uh, change the submission form, you can change the reviewer scorecard. You can quickly create a new cycle and just transfer the applications uh, to this new cycle. And um, also, there are a lot of elements that can be duplicated, that can be used in templates in many cycles, and you can even make a program exclusive, so it's only accessible to invited participants. Continuous improvement is essential in today's world of software development. Uh, so have you been adding any features to the software? Where are you on that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, based on uh, recent user feedback, uh, uh, there was an introduction uh, of an additional uh, feature uh, which administrators can use during configuration of award or grant cycles. It allows administrators uh, to uh, specify acceptable file upload extensions for applicants. Uh, for example, if administrators select PDF, Mm -hmm. as uh, the required file upload format, uh, then the applicants can only upload uh, files in PDF format. 
which ensures uh, consistency uh, of all the files uploaded to the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another big topic is uh, security, data security. Um, is data secured? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes words definitely. I mean, uh, security of our clients' data is very important to us. So, um, first of all, clients own their own data. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, Amazon Web Services infra infrastructure uh, that has advanced systems of uh, application and data protection. And um, I don't want to be too technical, but the data is uh, encrypted and there are strict regulations of uh, who can access this data. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Planet Systems Group uh, has been certified with ISO 27001. <laughs> <laughs> this is a certificate uh, that uh, manages the... This is a standard for uh, information uh, security mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Okay. All right. And um, how about walking us through some real world scenarios where this application has actually benefited some of your customers? Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to take cycle cloning as an example. Well, when there is an existing cycle and there needs to be a new cycle that's like very similar or exactly the same as the old one. An admin can just take the existing cycle and clone it and mm -hmm. all the parameters will be saved, everything will, will stay the same. And if they only just need to change the name of the cycle and set new dates and maybe if there are some changes in the submission form or some slight changes, they can tweak them and everything is cloned. It's a real time saver, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah, it sounds like it, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so uh, Sladja, you mentioned exclusive programs, but um, I mean, Maya, can you tell us about them a little mm -hmm. bit? I mean, how can they be useful? Yeah, uh, exclusive programs uh, are useful for managing awards intended for a specific group of uh, applicants. Uh, in this way, if administrator marks uh, an award cycle as exclusive, it remains hidden uh, from the dashboard where all other award uh, cycles are listed. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, regular uh, applicants cannot see them. Only those that uh, are invited can submit applications to these exclusive awards. Uh, in, in, in that way, um, we can manage uh, specific um, groups of uh, people we would like to uh, target and invite for uh, awards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, something that was mentioned was the customizable submission form. So, um, mm -hmm. is there any way that you can test this before actually using it? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, admins have a special functionality where they can test the submission form before the cycle begins. So they can see what it looks like, how it works, if it works, and they can even send a test submission through it and verify that the cycle is sound and everything mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. and, and how intuitive is the words and grand? I mean, how easy is it for new users to learn how to use it? Mm. Well, I would say it's very intuitive. Um, as a person that came to Planet Systems Group after Awards and Grants was launched, and so I wasn't a part of the creation cycle. And mm -hmm. when I was first introduced to it, my impression was, this is very simple and easy to learn. Mm -hmm. I must admit, I was a bit scared <laughs> when I heard what it's about, but very simple and I learned it quite quickly. So. No, there uh, isn't any onboarding or special training needed for applicants and reviewers mm -hmm. before they start using awards and grants. Uh, but if they get stuck in some process, they can just consult the extensive knowledge base with articles and uh, video tutorials. Mm -hmm. They can just see everything there. Uh, while the administrators, as Sladja said, will receive an onboarding training and they will have a dedicated Planet Systems Group program specialist to mm -hmm, help them. Mm -hmm. And what does the application evaluation look like? Can you kind of walk us through the process? Yes, after the admin finishes the triage of the applications and discards those uh, applications that are not uh, appropriate, mm -hmm. uh, they send the applications to the reviewers. Now, uh, based on the program needs, uh, they will uh, they would have um, set up the review 
process in, in advance, they can choose to either set up a review as a scoring process where reviewers score the, uh, fill their reviewer scorecards or as a ranking process. So the benefit of scoring is that they can tailor the scoring card in advance, uh, they can um, tell the reviewers what to focus on and uh, the process is standardized because all reviewers uh, review all applications uh, in the same manner so it's all fair and standardized uh, ranking um, the benefit of ranking is first of all that is simple to use uh, you don't need to have any uh, advanced training to use it you simply drag and drop applications up and down in a list you put the most suitable applications to the top of the list and the least suitable to the bottom of mm -hmm. the list and uh, once um, admin receives the feedback from reviewers then uh, they decide whether to send it to another round of review or they um, make a decision. Mm -hmm. And um, the evaluation, you said it had many rounds, so how does the application facilitate this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, our application facilitates, uh, facilitates this uh, in a very easy way. Uh, if you want to transfer uh, an application to another round, you can just do it by, by a single click. Uh -huh. And there is also option, uh, if you uh, see that an application uh, is suited better for another, uh, for a different uh, kind of uh, award or grant, and you don't want to decline it, but you want to transfer it, uh, so it gets uh, another chance to be uh, considered for another award, you can also do it with a single click and you, you choose button transfer to a new award cycle. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's uh, as easy as it gets. There's so a lot of easy clicks on this application. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of other features that we can talk about, uh, but I think we kind of, I have a feeling we've covered uh, the basics. Um, anything else that we, that you think it's important we haven't mentioned? Um, or do you also share this feeling that Just, we've kind of covered uh, everything? Just try it. Come yes. and try it. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for doing this interview. And uh, thank you for watching. So if you're interested in awards and grants, try it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>